Look at these two people. Can you guess which one of them is just dressed up and is not a woman in reality? It's this one here, the one in the pink dress. Look closer. She's blonde, but has dark hair on her arms. Also, you can see some naturally dark hair slipping under the wig. Okay, let's try to find some more imposters. There are two pregnant women. Can you tell which one isn't really pregnant? It must be this one. She has a big belly, but her choice of high heels is very questionable. Look at these two. One of them is a mummy that escaped from ancient Egypt. Don't ask me how, it doesn't really matter. Just find the mummy. What's your choice? It's this one. Look at the ankle. There's a piece of bandage slipping out of the pants. Dira came to a hospital for an x-ray. Two doctors are ready to accept her, but one of them isn't a real doctor. Take a close look at them. Who's not a real doctor here? It's this man here. See, he looks nothing like the person in the photo on his badge. He must have stolen the uniform. Mrs. Cook left for a business trip and three of her daughters stayed at home by themselves. When Mrs. Cook returned the next day, she found her car crashed. Obviously, one of her daughters had taken it and had crashed it by accident, but none of the three took the blame. Sage said that she hadn't left the house. Leora said that her friend had picked her up for school that day. Amaya said that she had taken the bus. Who crashed the car? Look inside the car. There's a purse. If you were attentive, you could have noticed that the day Mrs. Cook left, Amaya had this purse. So it was her who had crashed the car. Naya woke up on a Saturday morning after a long and hard week. She was very hungry, so she decided to make herself breakfast. Naya had a dozen eggs. She broke three eggs, fried three, and ate three. How many eggs are left? There are nine eggs left. Naya broke, fried, and ate the exact same three eggs. Esme was walking through the forest and got lost. After hours of wandering around, she found a witch's house. She walked in, pet a cat, and asked the witch to take her home. The witch was making a new potion and asked Esme to give her a plant from the shelf. Esme walked there, but there were five of them. Which one? she asked. Not the one right in the middle, and not the smallest one. Also, don't take the one that's next to the pink flower. So, which one does she need? That's the one on the very left then, or the pink flower itself. But in that case, wouldn't the witch just say so? Probably. She seems satisfied, so Esma is going back home this time. Mova was in a local park and noticed a purse. Someone must have forgotten it, so she took it to Lost and Found. They accepted it and said they would give it back to the owner. At the end of the day, three women came in and demanded the purse back, each stating that the purse belonged to them. Take a look inside the purse and decide to whom it really belongs. Look, there's lipstick in the purse. There's just one woman who's wearing lipstick of the same color, and it's this one. So the purse must belong to her. Let's stick around in Lost and Found for a while. There are more things to give back to their owners, like this wallet, for example. There are three people claiming that it belongs to them, but which one is the real owner?
Look, there's an ID card. It has a photo of this guy, so it must be his wallet. There's a backpack, and three people are demanding it. You can take a look inside. Who do you think the backpack belongs to? There's a jacket that matches this girl's trainers perfectly. It must belong to her. Can you pick the owner of this purse out of these three people? Look, there's a charm on the purse that says Ella. This girl in the middle has a necklace with a pendant saying Ella too. It must be her purse. Yvonne and Liana are exploring a forest right outside their town and find an abandoned hotel. Of course, they walk in to look around. When they walk into one of the rooms, a cage falls and traps them inside. There are three potions. Each of them will only last 10 minutes. If they drink the purple one, they will turn into the first animal they can see. If they drink the blue one, they'll be able to fly. If they drink the orange one, they'll switch bodies with each other. Which potion should they drink? Look, there's a little mouse in the room. If they drink the purple potion, they can turn into a mouse and will be small enough to escape through the cage. What they do afterward is another matter. Inez was studying in a boarding school. She often stayed in the library till late because, well, she didn't want to spend time with her roommates. One day, she found a dungeon. Of course, she walked in to see what was there. She found a pile of old books and a journal filled with weird symbols. Can you help her decode the name of the person this journal belongs to? For each letter, there's a unique border and dot combination. To decode, Inez just has to find the respective letter. If she does it right, she should get the name Marion. A group of friends were partying on a Friday night in a neighborhood. The next morning, Mr. Johnson came to his little shop and found that the glass door was broken. Nothing was stolen, but he reported to the police because he wanted the glass replaced. The police found fingerprints of three people on the bottle, Nova, Ayla, and Eamon. Which of the friends threw the bottle into the glass door? It was Eamon. His fingerprints are upside down and are located on the bottle's neck. This means that he wasn't holding the bottle to drink, but upside down to throw it. A group of cyborgs arrived on Earth to study humans' behavior. The police found out about it and got concerned. They want to track every cyborg and interrogate them. Let's help them find a couple of cyborgs in disguise. Look at these two people here. One of them isn't a human. But which one? It's this guy with a tail. He wasn't careful enough to dress up properly. Here's another pair. They both seem pretty usual, but one of these women is a cyborg. Can you spot her? It must be this one. Her eye color is orange, which is not humanly possible. Look, there are two suspicious people in the grocery store. Oh no, there's just one cyborg. Which one? It's this one, the one with the cyborg's leg. Oops, he forgot to cover it up. Then the police moved on to different houses. One officer took a look at these two houses today. In which house does a cyborg live? Look, there's gasoline on the kitchen counters. It's definitely a cyborg's place of residence. You're doing great. Now, look at these two bathrooms. Can you spot anything suspicious and find the bathroom that doesn't belong to a real human?
Look, there's a wrench instead of a toothbrush. I bet that's the one. A young actress, Chanel, was staying at a hotel in Miami. Suddenly, she screamed. Detective Callum was drinking a cocktail right by her balcony, so he walked in and asked her what had happened. The girl looked scared. A man dressed in black just broke into my room. I heard some scratches in the keyhole, and then he opened it and grabbed my hand. I screamed, and he ran away. Detective Callum didn't believe her. Why? The door of the room opens inwards, and it's loaded with boxes now. If someone had opened it and walked in, the boxes would have been pushed out of the way. Luna wanted to go to the party her classmate was throwing, but her mother didn't let her go. Still, she felt bad, so she said, if you need to get out of your room for a while, you can go visit your grandparents at their geese farm for the weekend. Luna agreed, but she decided to trick her mom. Instead of going to her grandparents, Luna went to the party. When she got home, her mother asked her how the weekend had been. Luna replied that she had a great time, spent a lot of time in the garden, and was responsible for feeding the chickens every day. Her mom knew that she was lying. How? It wasn't a chicken farm, but a geese farm. If Luna had really been at the farm, she wouldn't have confused them.